Hey guys, it is Sunday, January 31st, and it is 1.30 in the afternoon, and I just finished showering and getting ready for the day. <laughs> I mean, it's okay because it's a Sunday, but I told myself I would film a vlog this weekend so I can finish up the diamond painting, and I was going to, you know, combine footage from yesterday and today, and yesterday I did absolutely nothing. So today's the day to be extra productive, and it's already 1.30. <laughs> I'm getting sick of this diamond painting, I won't lie. The first one I did, I did it very quickly. I went hard on it and got it done in like a week and a half or something. This one has been lingering for months because I started it before all the advent calendar shenanigans. And so, you know, there's a big chunk of time I didn't touch it at all. Then I've been working on it here and there, which is what I wanted. I wanted it to be something I would occasionally work on, but it just lingers too long. Like I just don't like that it's taking me this long. So I've been pushing real hard this week to finish it and today is the final day. I just have the face left to do. So I'm gonna be working on that. But first I need to go to the grocery store even though I just got groceries on Wednesday because we're out of butter and I really need that for my cheese bagel. I haven't eaten anything yet and I really want my cheese bagel for my breakfast. So I need to get that. I might pick up a, some other stuff too. I'm thinking of maybe picking up some stuff that I will specifically use to cook a meal tonight. So I'm gonna go look at some cookbooks, see what I can find. <laughs> I'm gonna be looking in the Betty Crocker cookbook. I love me a salad that's got like some goat cheese or feta or blue cheese chunks in it and like kind of like an apple pecan. I mean, do I really need a recipe for that? <laughs> I think I have it figured out. I'm gonna do a steak salad. Okay, here's today's haul. I've had people ask how I store this while I'm working on it. It's exactly this. I fold it in half and throw it in the closet. It's just like a nice high up place where it won't get squeezed. I used to store it on top of my white drawers. I used to have these drawers underneath one of the desks and so there was a little gap at the top where I could stick this. I think this one in particular might be too wide to go in one of these drawers. Well, mm, eh, maybe a touch, just a smidge too wide. But if I did have one that was small enough, I could do that too. Although these drawers are mostly full. The one that has the most space is probably the one with my tablet in it. Oh. <gasps> No, eraser dust, no, ah, rude. Must've been sweeping eraser dust off my desk with this partially opener. So wait, <gasps> the this has gotta be the culprit. This isn't even supposed to be in there. Let's finish off this sucker, I'm ready, I'm ready. <laughs> we just have the face, which is still a decent sized chunk. But I'm confident I can get it done quite quickly. I kind of want to just go at it, have a little like speed paint thing, and then it be done. I don't want to drag out the diamond painting thing for the whole vlog because we've had so many vlogs like that. I just like to change it up, you know? So this time, speed paint. Do you recall when we were young, running from all things at once, without thinking twice? And I knew it would catch up. And that we would be the ones left behind The stories I've been told They never seem to lead my mind Ooh, And this road that I am on I gotta stay here for some time Somehow made it through without losing sight mm -hmm. And I still wonder where you are And if you found a way out from the dark mm -hmm. The stories I've been told They never seem to leave my mind Okay, 
So I have not done any fixes to this yet, but I was thinking of maybe leaving it for a day when I'm going to frame it because I'm going to go through and like pick out dust and crap too. And so on that day, I can change out some of the gems if I want. But here it is. Here it is. <laughs> we even get far back enough. Oh, tripping over my pins. It is done. Do, 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 do. Glisten, glisten, glisten. Swing, swing, swing. Yeah. <sighs> I'm in denial that it's done. I think this is the biggest one out of my four diamond paintings. This is the biggest one. And it's done! Other than the fixes. <laughs> Assuming I even go back and do them. Well, at least I need to get rid of that duty dot. You know what? No, let's just do it now. Let's just do it now. You know what? I lifted the duty dot and it's actually supposed to be an H. I wondered. I suspected that. Maybe I put the wrong thing there. So, the duty dot's gone. I'm gonna do this too. Cause see, the only thing about changing out the colors is that the background of the canvas is the same color as the gem. Like there's this black square here. So if I put a different color there, it's gonna be kind of obvious. I think I'll go with the biohazard one, which is a dark maroon kind of color. Okay, side is black. And there's those ones I changed out. And then for this, the smile, this was a dark brown one up here and it just felt a little too asymmetrical. So I put a pink one there and I sort of scratched at the canvas cause there was that dark brown square behind it which is really noticeable. So I scratched at it with my X-Acto knife to lighten it up a little bit. So yeah. Okay, now let's get out of here. I don't know what I'm gonna do yet for the rest of the day other than cook that steak salad. I don't wanna cook, cook it quite yet. I want the meat to marinate a little while longer. And it's it's, uh, it's 5.30 right now, so. I got that section done pretty quickly. That was like three hours or less for the face. I just went hard. No, like just bounce from one color to the next nonstop. Just Why'd I come back in here? I was gonna grab something, I think, but I forget. I think what I'm truly looking for is my little tripod stand for this camera, which is in here. Oh, I gotta show you the other pin shipment that just came in on Friday. Cause I haven't told you guys what the three items from the advent calendar are that I reordered. I did show you the bun boy pin in the previous vlog, but the other pins have arrived. The washi tape hasn't arrived yet though but it should be coming very soon, within the next day or two, I think. So yeah, but let me show you what I got for my secret Santa gifts. They're things I requested and directly linked to, so it's not really a big surprise to me, but this is a clip-on strainer that you clip onto a pan to strain something, and then you just pour out of the pan kind of thing. And then this one's a little bit dirty because I used it yesterday and it's not washed, but this is to hold your utensils while you're cooking. So let's say I have this spoon I'm stirring with and I wanna just set it down and not get crap all over the counter. I can do that. Okay, second pin reveal. It's Baroque Brew. This was one of the top three most requested items from the advent calendar. It could be tea, it could be coffee, it could be whatever you want it to be, but it's very shiny. Look at that. In the middle, the metal is intentionally left recessed but not filled in with enamel just to add a cool look to it. Like a metal engraving sort of look. Yeah, and then there's the back. It's got the white clutches, the Bailey J logo. Yeah. You guys know how I showed you these sort of antique bronze looking spoons and i said i had some bright gold ones coming too they came about a week ago actually i just kind of forgot about them they've been set aside to show you guys <laughs> yeah they're the exact same but bright gold ooh, 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 look how cute so yeah these are for prop purposes oh yes and this one with a very ornate spoon tip Scoopy part. Love these. And one fork. <laughs> Here's the whole set. Yes. yes. You guys. Oh my god. 
I just got a message from the sketchbook manufacturer. She sent photos of samples of the cloth for the covers embroidered. So, I mean, yeah, I mean, yeah, I'll show you, I'll show you, I'll show you. Oh my God, okay, filming my phone screen is not the best way to go about this. They did some of the mushroom one on a reddish, kind of maroon colored fabric. I don't want that, I, I like the brown. Look, 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 look. Oh. oh my god. And there's a close-up of the flowers too. Look! And it's the thick thread embroidery like I requested because it looks kind of a little more rustic. Just kind of rougher looking and more hand done. No. Yeah, Kiki, it's amazing. Oh my god, I'm so like, I'm feeling giddy just looking at this. I think they look great. I'm so excited. So next step is they're going to mail me those embroidery samples and paper for me to try out and yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my God. I had to tweet pictures of the embroidery right away. That was just too exciting, too exciting. Okay, I should, I should probably start supper now. It's quarter after six. <laughs> the steak looks disgusting. <laughs> it's been marinating all day. I roughly followed some instructions I saw online. <laughs> Don't know if I should peel the cucumber or not, so I just am. I'm gonna eat the skin though, right now. I feel like that's half the cucumber right there. <laughs> want more. That was like enough cucumber for one salad. Ew, this is going under my fingernails. Ew, ew, ew. Maybe I should use a fork. <laughs> oh yeah, we need lots of goat cheese. Honestly, I probably could empty the whole container because we're probably not gonna use it for anything else. I'll put a little bit on top of the steak though. I've also added these crispy onions. You can see them, crispy onions. And again, some of those can go on top of the steak. Oh yeah. Look, look, let me trying to find the best lighting. Um, maybe right here, maybe right, Ooh, I don't know. Look at it. I cut the steak into bite-sized pieces, not strips. Even though strips look better, this is just way easier to eat. And it's cooked about medium. I wish it was more medium rare, but that's okay. So yeah, ready to eat. <laughs> this looks like cheese whiz a little bit. <laughs> it's honey Dijon. Dressing. <laughs> Verdict, it's delicious. Okay, I'm gonna do a little tidy in here. It's not too bad, you know, usually it's way worse, but I just gotta put away the diamond painting stuff. I gotta put away, well, I guess I can't quite put away these pins yet. <laughs> but just get a little organized, because as the pin stuff rolls in, it's starting to get a little messy. I have a handful of pins that are graded that need to go on backing cards still, so maybe I'll do that tonight too. But you know, just, just, away a few things before it gets too out of hand. This can go back into the closet until I get a frame for it. Okay, it's not looking vastly different in here, but it's, it's an improvement. Everything's just a little more organized. And this is still out because I'm about to use that stuff right now. And yeah, okay, all right. My last couple bites of steak salad were very onion heavy because the onion pieces fell to the bottom. <laughs> so my mouth feels spicy. <laughs> so yeah, these are already graded as A grades. So this should be pretty quick. Ooh, I do not have a cloth down, that's gonna be loud. <laughs> but yeah, now that all my pins and stuff are arriving, I'm like, oh, I need to hurry up and order some other stuff to go with them. Like I need more glassine sleeves. I need the backing cards for the pins. There's not a single backing card left over from the advent calendar stuff. Cause I had a thousand, I ordered a thousand of everything. So there were actually some pins that were left without backing cards. They never made it into the calendars. I still have those ones, but yeah. Can okay, you do you want a cloth? Let's grab a paper towel. 
I just don't like flipping them over onto a hard surface and then pressing down when I do this part, just because if there was something on the table, it could scratch the pin. But yeah, what was I saying? Yeah, oh yeah, no leftover backing cards. So I need to order more. I might need more thank you cards. I gotta check again, see if I need some. I need more tape, both plastic and paper. I'm still, I'm trying out the paper tape because a few of you have mentioned in the comments that the paper tape's not the best. Um, the stuff I wanna order from Uline is supposed to be just like the stuff Amazon uses. And if you wrap it all the way around the box like you're supposed to, it should be secure. I wanna do some tests though. Like the way I've been doing it with plastic tape is I rip off a small chunk just to cover a seam but it's supposed to wrap around the box. So maybe people are just using crappy paper tape or maybe they're not putting it on correctly. Because if, if paper tape is good enough for Amazon to use, I'm sure it would be okay for me to use too. As long as it's of similar quality. Like I've never had an Amazon box arrive opened where the tape was peeling up. There's also this amazing tape dispenser that spits out your your paper tape and moistens it at the same time. I watched a video of like different ways you can use the different buttons to get different tape lengths and stuff and I'm like, oh, if I do switch to paper tape, I'm getting that machine. Also, I need to order more prints because I have like none. I'm just gonna reorder some of my past designs. I'm not gonna order any new ones because that's kind of the rule for this shop update is it's just restocking some of the older stuff. And then new stuff will drop for the, the following store update, including those sketchbooks and stuff. And for this update, I'm hoping to do it in about a month from today. I do have a lot of pins to prep. If I do all of the new pins I bought, it's gonna take me a while because I have 500 Baroque Brew and 500 Bun Boy. So that's a lot to prep. But I don't know, it, it could be doable. I could do like 300 of them for this update and then 200 next time, something like that. If it was the first time I was selling those pins, then maybe I would want all 500, but considering I sold a thousand advent calendars, so a thousand of you already have it, or close to a thousand anyway, let's say like 900. <laughs> 900 of you already have that pin, so there's not gonna be as much demand for those because you guys have it. So yeah, maybe 300 would be a good idea. So yeah, I'm actually gonna make a list of all the stuff I need to order, and then I can place all those orders tomorrow. We've got a lot of store listings to make for the leftover advent calendar items, like the, the individual pieces that didn't make it into boxes. Just try to keep it simple since those will sell pretty fast, regardless of what the, the photos look like. <laughs> there's only going to be maybe like 20 of each item it'll vary depending on the item but those will be scooped up quickly by the people who did not get advent calendars and the three items i ordered reordered from the advent calendar those are the only three i'm ordering the rest are staying exclusive to the calendar i want to look at a calendar see around when march 1st is march 1st is a monday Ugh. Just trying to think of when I want the store to open. March 1st is also exactly four weeks from now because February has exactly 28 days. So I might want to give myself that extra week. I don't know. I'm going to have to maybe wait and see what kind of progress I'm making on everything and then I can decide. Four weeks just might be a bit tight. And I'd probably do a Sunday. So either Sunday, February 28th or Sunday, March 7th. Just to give you a, a rough timeline for this update. <laughs> okay, they're all pinned. Now I just need to sleeve them. Now, the downside of filming a vlog on a Sunday is that Sunday is my editing day where I have to edit one vlog. So I'm gonna do that now because I just don't wanna fall behind. So see ya after, I guess. <laughs> I was getting cold so I went to put my sweater back on and I found a couple of little critters on it. So 
I'm gonna have to wear a different one. You babies are so cute. Little feetsies intertwined. Okay, it's now 11 and I just finished up the edit and it's all uploaded, ready to go on YouTube. And it's pretty late, so I'm going to bed. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. <laughs> Okay, I thought it would fall apart a little easier. <laughs> Did I lose a piece on the floor?